and we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you a simple melting text effect. We'll start with a black background and then we use the type tool, you can also press T for that. Click on your canvas, add a text, we press Ctrl A to select it all and change the color to white and I increase its size. I'll put it into the correct position using the alignment tool. I click on it and then I use this menu, I'll put it somewhere to the top. One additional info, I've used Arial Heavy right here. It's inbuilt, you should find it in your game version as well. But it's important to use a somewhat thicker font. I think it looks better when you use something like this. Let me copy this layer two times. So I've got the same text layered three times on top of one another. Let me make the top two invisible. And I want to use maybe like a red color for this one. So let me use the type tool, I click on it, Control A, and now I change the color. Just find a color combination that you like. I'll just use red and a pink color or a purple color, something. I confirm it, and as mentioned, we've got three text layers and the top one is white. Now right click on these layers and use layer to image size. I'll go to the bottom one, which was all red. I use the smudge tool, adjust the size right here with the slider and copy the other values. So aspect ratio down below should be at zero. You can click on that or use the up and down arrows to adjust it. Angle should also be zero. The spacing is important. If you have it too high, you'll have this effect. You press Ctrl Z. You want to set it to the lowest possible value, which is one. And this gives you this effect. Hard and force is 50 and make sure that no erasing effect is checked. And now you can just left click and create this effect. Now it's all about how much time do you invest and what you want it to look like. But the way to do it is always the same. Left click using the smudge tool until you've got all of these letters somewhat connected towards the bottom center. Something like this should be fine, at least for my tutorial here. So let me jump to the next layer, which was the purple pink one. And I go down a little bit with our size. And now I'll liquefy or melt this second text layer. And finally, I even go over the white one on top, just a little bit. And that should be fine. Let me go over the second layer a little bit more. But that's okay. Now we want to adjust the entire layer and we can merge them or simply make the bottom one invisible and then right click and use this one new from visible. It copies all the layers, merges them and gives us what we want. But as I've said, make sure that you've got the background layer invisible first before you do it. Otherwise, it's going to be added to our new layer and we don't want that. 
Now we'll use the warp transform right here. Just make sure that you've got move pixels active. Keep the default values for hardness strain 50 and spacing 10. And we adjust the size and then you're good to go. Don't go too heavy across these letters. You want to still have them identifiable. So only use like the bottom third of every letter to warp them. As I said, the more time you invest, the better results will look. But this is the process to create this melting text effect in game. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.